when a company is thinking about protecting their intellectual property, uh, they need to realize that there are basically four types, four different types of intellectual property. Uh, they're distinct and they're designed to protect different things. Uh, these are trademarks, patents, copyrights, and trade secrets. Now, a trademark is essentially a source identifier. It's your name or your brand, the thing that you use uh, to distinguish yourself from your competitors and the thing that your customers can use to recognize you and your reputation. A patent is used to protect a specific invention. It has to be a new invention and uh, something that is useful. And if you get a patent, uh, you get a monopoly to practice or use that specific invention for 20 years. And that can be something that's quite valuable. A copyright is designed to protect uh, what we call the, the creative works. Now, uh, this can be something like musical works, it can be movies, and it can be written works like books. Uh, with copyrights, you're not protecting an idea. What you're protecting is the specific way of expressing an idea. This can happen, this can have some value to businesses as well, even if they're not involved in, say, you know, the music business, because a lot of written works that a company has are and can be protected by copyright. Um, something as simple as a uh, an employee manual telling your employees how to do things. Uh, you can actually prevent uh, employees from distributing that outside of your company and you would do it through copyright. And the last one is trade secrets. Uh, a trade secret basically has two elements. Uh, one is it is some piece of information that has value because it's not generally known to the public. So it is known to you or your company but not to the public. And the second element is that you've taken some reasonable steps to keep its secrecy or its proprietary nature. When a company thinks about obtaining a patent, it really is an investment. Um, it, uh, it, let me start off with the, uh, the bad news, which is the cost to get a patent um, because it takes a lot of attorney hours to write things up and think about the field that that invention is in and figure out what the uh, invention is and actually go through the steps with the patent office. Uh, that can be, depending on the invention, an arranged from anywhere from ten dollars to $25,000 for the application and securing the patent. And there could be additional costs to enforcing it if you're able to get it. So you need, so the company needs to think fairly clearly about what is the value of having an invention that they would have a monopoly on for about 20 years. First of all, you get some rights in a trademark simply by using it. Um, just simply by selling goods or services under that particular word or phrase or symbol. And that gets you a certain level of rights. By registering your trademark with the federal government, uh, that gets you an additional set of rights above and beyond what you would have um, under what we call the common law. Some of those rights are if you have a federal registration, um, your rights automatically cover the entire country, whereas under the common law, your rights cover simply the geographic areas where you've actually made sales of those goods or services. When a company is thinking about their intellectual property in general, first they have to realize what they have. And that goes back to one of the things I was talking about earlier, knowing what the four types are, and then looking at your own company and saying, you know, what do we have in the way of trademarks or brands? What do we have in the way of uh, patentable patents or patentable ideas, in the way of copyright protectable ideas, or in the way of trade secrets? Uh, once you sort of have an inventory, if you realize what you have, then you need to make a conscious decision about the level of protection you're going to get for those. And that, that's in terms of are you going to register your trademarks with the federal government or are you just going to rely on your common law rights. But I would encourage people not to just let things happen, to take a look at what you have and make a conscious decision on the level of protection you're going to get. Once you've done that, you should uh, set up a regular way of monitoring of what other people are doing with respect to your intellectual property. With trademarks, this could be as simple as uh, having an employee every couple months do some Google searches for your relevant trademarks and words that are similar to it to see who, what comes up, what else is out there. Uh, for patents, for the inventions, uh, you need to just be aware of what other people in your industry are doing, which is probably something you're doing anyway. 
But those are the things. Realize what you have in terms of intellectual property. Make a distinct plan for how you're going to protect it. And then uh, do some regular enforcement and monitoring.